This video covers the introduction to the extended manufacturing game, a very quick overview of the extended manufacturing game. This is based on the ERP SIM SAP Labs and Textbook, the third edition. The video itself presumes you have some SAP experience and you also have some ERP SIM experience. So it might be the distribution came, it's probably more likely the SAP Labs from the textbook. This is really a top level overview, so a basic company market setup, and it leads right into the production process. Now, throughout this, don't feel like you need to understand all of it. This is truly a general overview. The sooner you understand what's happening with this, the better, but it might be a few weeks of actually running the manufacturing game before you really truly understand it. So something to think about is to go back and watch this video again, because you might miss some details this time that come into play later. In addition to this video, you, your instructor should be providing for you the Manufacturing Game Participants Guide. This goes into far more detail into the Manufacturing Game. If your instructor hasn't provided it for you, it's available on the ERP SIM Labs website. This is actually where you registered for ERP SIM. The Participants Guide includes detailed product and company information, some detailed vendor, customer, market information. And again, the information from this video comes from the participant's guide. The manufacturing job aid as well. This is uh, typically a PDF. I highly recommend that you print it. Your instructor should provide it for you. If they don't, there is the ERP Sim Labs website. You can go there. This gives an overview. It's abbreviated instructions for how to get around. It has general product and company information and general vendor customer market information. It's not detailed. It's more so as it implies, an aid, it's more so it assumes you understand what's going on and just need a refresher. So it's a quick overview of everything that's happening in the manufacturing game. Within the manufacturing game, congratulations, you have a new job. You will be creating Muesli. It's a breakfast cereal that is very popular across Europe and specifically in Germany. You'll have six different products with two different sizes per products. The, uh, each one of the products has a different uh, uh, recipe that comes together to make it. Each one, regardless of the size, it has one box and one bag. And then there's some wheat, there's some oat, and some nuts within it. Check the job aid to see what the actual requirements are for each one of them. Within this, you are able to adjust recipes to match the market preferences. But there are no new combinations that are available. So you can't have, as an example, a strawberry blueberry muesli or... A nut blueberry muesli. It has to fit within these general guidelines here. There are different stores that you are selling to across the German market and we have them divided between the west, the north, and the south. And there are three different sets of stores, types of stores. There's hypermarkets, grocery stores, and independent grocers. And you can see the breakdown between those uh, right here as well. This is on the job aid, of course. Again, don't, don't feel like you need to memorize this. This is on the job aid and more details available within the participant's guide. Looking at these, so there's DC. This is the distribution channels where you're selling. Distribution channel 10, 12, and 14. Distribution channel 10 is a hypermarket. And this is a place where they sell a lot of bigger boxes of stuff. Lots of different things, but you're not going to be getting exactly what you want. It's more so, more the, it's the quantity and the price. The hypermarkets, DC10, only buy large boxes. They have a payment delay of 20 days. So if they are buying from you, they are not going to pay you for 20 days. They have a high sensitivity to price. It's all about saving money. And in that it's all about the price, they have a low sensitivity to advertising. So as you have some options for doing some marketing, DC-10 is not going to respond as much to your marketing. Within the entire manufacturing game, DC-10 is going to have a stronger preference for three particular products during the simulation. And it's up to you and your analytics to actually figure out what those are. The next one over is the grocery chains, distribution channel 12. They buy both the large and the small boxes. This is a fairly typical grocery store, so some place like a Kroger's. Um, pick and Save, Safeway, Winn-Dixie. This is just a standard grocery store. It's mostly groceries and not uh, a place that sells a lot of different things. 
They buy, again, they're both largely in small boxes. There's a payment delay of 10 to 20 days, depending on the actual customer. They're kind of sensitive to price, and they're kind of sensitive to advertising. They're right in the middle. They have a strong preference for four particular products throughout the simulation itself. The final distribution channel is number 14. This is independent grocers. So this is a smaller grocery store that doesn't have a whole lot of space. So they only buy the small boxes. The, there's a payment delay of one to 20 days. It just kind of depends. Sometimes they pay pretty quickly. Sometimes they pay 20 days later. They have a low sensitivity to price. So this is more like a corner store where someone walks in and it's more convenient to actually just buy your stuff. So price isn't as much of a, a consideration but there is a high sensitivity to advertising. So any type of marketing you're doing is really going to have more of an effect in distribution channel 14. But remember, they only sell, they only buy the small boxes. So it's only the 500 gram, 500 kilogram boxes, the 500 gram boxes, <laughs> the half kilogram boxes. There you go. Each one of these customers has a stronger preference for two products during the simulation. So again, it's up to your analytics to find that. When we start the simulation on round one, day one, the very first day of your operations, you start with a functioning company with an ERP system. You have best practices for sales and production already in place, but you don't have a sales forecast. You don't have raw materials and you have no finished products to sell, which means no one will be selling on round one, day one. So where do you start? There are many options within the manufacturing game for strategy. It is my recommendation that you do not pay attention to all of those, I'll call them distractors, all the different items you can be doing, changing prices, doing marketing. I suggest you focus on production. So revenue is your sales minus your expenses, that's your cost for doing business, and that equals profit. If you have no production, you have nothing to sell, you have no revenue. So my recommendation is from here, watch the videos about the production process, practice the production process, and focus on that. Get your production down, and then start thinking about various strategies.